Hello lovely people welcome back to RBR Galeria in yesterday's video we have drawn this landscape okay so today i just want to show the blending of these oil pastels individually in these boxes so i made few boxes with a light pencil and let us use let us see how this works okay so that we'll have a reference of what we have worked which what colors we have worked and we'll write uh, accordingly so for this i have used a5 size watercolor paper 200 gsm and the oil pastels i'm using is from camel 50 shades oil pastels 50 shades okay so the colors i'm using is uh for the sky we have used light blue and carillion blue so light blue is 239 and carillion blue it is 071 and i am i'm using light green dark green and lemon yellow lemon yellow it is sorry i have to move the number i'm using lemon yellow and i'm using light green 240 and sap green which is 391 okay so these are the colors we are going to use for today's class so first i made a rough uh, outline with the pencil now i'm going to take a sketch pen keep the sketch pen also ready and a scale and now we are going to make this a permanent box will make I'm making a box of four uh, four into two eight I'm making eight boxes and I just want to do the shading of this so let us see how the colors works okay so here we are using sketch pen so that the colors will not get uh, will not get disturbed because the pencil or the oil pastel that may blend the colors again with the uh, with the colors what we are going to use so use a sketch pen or a permanent marker so that will not be blended with the oil pastels so just try to make equal boxes We are going to use even the very light shades so we don't want any of the pencil marks to be seen so just erase all the pencil marks and any other marks take your fresh paper or white paper and then do it see that you'll not have any marks in this and if by mistake you have any marks and you can't remove that try to blend with the same colors on in that box just erase and now for the very first box i'm going to use yellow and light uh, sorry we'll, we'll, we'll just start from the sky so this is light blue and carillion blue so first i'm going to take for the very first box i'm going to color is the carillion blue which is uh, let me write or yeah let me write first 071 and the light blue is 239 just make a note for reference uh, in future classes if at all whenever you want to do this in future on a bigger project you will have the numbers of what you are using okay so first i'll be starting with my uh, carillion blue the top part every time we want it to be a little bit dark or whatever it is if at all you are starting from the light colors see that you are um, blending it in the top and bottom with the dark colors and the middle will be in light colors but for today's class for this box i just want to use only two colors so the light uh, the carillion blue and let me take this yeah the carillion blue and see this i'm no and i don't think i'll be using any tissue paper for today's class i'll just blend with only my fingers so i'm doing it very dark can just do it in slanting directions also so I'm doing this one-fourth part very dark okay 
the one fourth part is very dark and from now here i'll reduce the pressure and i'll do it it in medium here and the way i'm coming down i'm doing it in very light okay so this is medium and the way i'm coming down this is very light so i have three shades over here one is dark medium and light and now i'll be coloring with my light blue which is 239 so here what i'll do first i'll start blending from the bottom very dark i want this bottom to be very dark this also one fourth i'll be coloring it from the bottom from here to here whatever the uh, color uh, whatever the uh, uh, place left over so i'll be coloring one fourth part with very darkly and from now here on i'll be red i'll reduce my pressure and do it a little bit medium until here and the way it is going up I'll do it very light. And I'll just blend this also here. In this way. So we have dark, medium and light shades. So on top also we have dark, medium and light and dark medium and light from the bottom also now if it uh, okay now let us blend with this finger so the very first part what i'll do is uh, whenever we are blending we should not take from the dark we need to do it from the light shades if at all you have light shades on the top work from the light shades if at all you have light shades from the bottom start working from the light so i'm doing here in this way now coming and blending this part and gradually i'm going to the dark shades i don't want any dark line to be seen as if the color has stopped here so i just want it to blend completely so here you now you can't see any dark line okay we we had a dark line over here just try to blend that and try slowly calm down and just blend that into this lighter shade we don't want to see any of the lines or we don't want to see the different shades light medium dark shades we don't want to see them separately we want everything to be blended so here you can see some line and here also you can see some line so blend once again so when you are blending your some color may come out and in photo you don't want that i'll show you even uh, one more simple technique which you can buy that or most of you will try to blend with two different things now so everything so now you can see that dark blue has gradually come into uh, sorry cerulean blue has uh, gradually come into this light blue so here we don't see any of the shadings or, or any of the dark parts so everything is blended so in this way we need to blend if at all you feel it still you have some lines do it in slanting lines or in circular motion then everything will be blended okay this is the way how we blend colors this is how so now we have done cerulean blue and light blue now i just want to do with light blue on top do it very carefully without coming out of the box so this will be of 3/4 in the total box oh, sorry 1/4 in the total box okay, uh, light blue i'm drawing 1/4 on the total box so i'm doing this again very dark and i'm doing it in slanting directions and in oval shapes 
okay without any white spots left and from here I'll be doing it a little bit light you can even do in circles or in slanting circles or you know, slanting ovals and this way and then do it very light over here very light just reduce your pressure and do it very light so you can see the difference you have very dark shade over here medium shade over here and very light shade if at all you feel light and medium are same just very give a very light hand on the medium once again don't go on the dark shade just and leave the bottom as it is okay now take this white pastel take a tissue and clean the oil pastel so that any other color if at all because you will mess up will mess up if at all if there is any other color in this and now now what I'm going to do I'm going to do it from the bottom so why, what is the necessity of doing uh, because it is already white why should we do white we'll see why we'll do the white color okay mostly why white is given in the oil pastel box or any colors is here in the oil pastel it is given for the purpose of blending okay white we use for blending many things see now you can see this right we have done here very dark white without any patches and then slowly going into the light blue slowly very slowly I'm entering into this medium and dark tones okay now just clean the oil pastel and keep it aside now if at all you are comfortable with the finger blending it's well and good if not you can just take um, earbuds and start doing take the earbuds and start from blending I, I already told that we have to blend from the lighter shades so here the light color is white so first blend this white very gently after our hands this cotton bud or earbud will do very nice blending so my first preference will be for this so start blending in the light and you can just come down a little bit so that we can gradually give the color we can gradually make the white also a little bit a little light blue okay so start blending here we already have this dark blue so just try to blend over here in the corners and see that you'll not have any white spaces in this way and start blending in circular motion and this but don't remove the pigment that's what I say we don't do very hard shading so that the pigment is removed the pigment removal is nothing but these things here we have these we don't want to remove them okay so gradually come down so just check when you have done your medium shade just have a look whether the dark dark and medium are blended or not here if it or it's not blended just give one more round of blending so that it blends properly okay you can do the same thing in slanting direction and do that and then gradually come down be very slow in blending don't be in hurry because this takes a lot of time to have a very beautiful and realistic look okay whenever we are doing the same thing on portraits or landscapes the blending plays very very important role so we must become very must perfect or we must master on this blending then only we can have the realistic look okay please keep that in mind and just practice keep on practicing all the shades whatever you have I'm showing here only a few water whatever I have worked in the landscape but we you can try in many many different shades whatever shades are there in the palette just keep on working on that so now you can see we are gradually coming into the white 
so just remove from the white because we want to keep at least one or uh, uh, five point five centimeters at least we want this to be plain white so just gradually come down and blend even on this white just turn the uh, your bud and do this so that you'll have a neat blending so this is how we have done we can see that this right uh, we can see that the uh, green uh, like light blue also we can see the light blue shades of light blue even becoming it very light and gradually becoming white okay this is the way we do see i can see some line over here i don't want this line to be there so blending this part blend only uh, just keep on blending in layers that's the only thing we if at all you feel you still have some light uh, you can't do it uh, like it's not blending then just run a little bit of white on this whatever the white color is there light shades not only white whatever the light shade you are using in that particular uh, box you can just take that and try to blend once so this is a technique in blending this is how we blend okay to make it even more soft look just run your finger you will have that nice feel of uh, satisfaction when you are doing with your fingers and it becomes soft and the blending will be even more soft so start from the bottom and just gradually blend till the dark shade so you can see this right right now we have done this let us go for another shade now we'll go for lemon yellow and light green these two colors we'll use so lemon yellow first clean the lemon yellow because as we have done this green so there are some green uh, tints on the uh, lemon yellow so just clean it very neatly so i think you all have seen that until now we didn't use any tissue paper for blending so let us do the lemon yellow on the top and then we'll come gradually uh, we'll get it uh, light green in the bottom okay so lemon yellow we are doing it really dark without any spaces we are just using the oil pastel without any spaces half of the blending is done here itself so again this is also done almost one fourth and from one fourth we are getting it we are making our hand uh, we are using little light pressure and making medium tones and then very light tones so this is what we have done and now we'll use green color light green which is 240 so first in the bottom we'll be doing it very dark so almost 1/4 is done with very dark i think fourth part is done very dark and then gradually i have reduced the pressure and made it to medium and light so the same thing we are going to do here one fourth is done very dark and from here on we'll be reducing a little bit of pressure and we'll just do it in medium tones and then gradually reduce even more pressure and make it light tones and this will go into this light shade of yellow okay you can see the shades here it is dark medium and light okay if at all you want to blend the same thing with a uh, finger you can just happily do it if not you can use with the uh, earbuds so i'm just trying to do with the same thing earbud so run from the right a uh, light shade as we already have discussed so i'm doing it from the top here the light shade is green uh, lemon yellow rather than 
light green okay so just blend this part first if at all any uh, spaces are there white spaces are there blend them very neatly and from here gradually come down and blend this into this light green okay and once you have done this go a little bit up and even blend this color because we'll see that white uh, lemon yellow line we don't want that line to be seen so just blend that give in circles so that that will be blended properly and come gradually down very slowly blend very neatly because the very first time we are blending that itself should be neatly blended without any uh, white spaces in between okay in this way so we have done this part from bottom you can just go again once again and just blend it properly reduce the pressure here and just blend it into this lemon yellow the concept of here making like medium tones of lemon yellow and light tones of lemon yellow medium tones of greens and light greens is the blending part should be done properly for blending we are doing this okay try to remove all this dust if not the other parts will become messy so even this is done now let us do with the light light green and sap green now i'll be using light green and sap green for here so on the top i'll be using light green so the top one fourth part is done with light green in dark tone light green in dark tone okay and now just reduce the pressure and make it medium tone okay light green in medium tone and now we'll do it in very light manner light light green in lighter tone and even very light okay this way this is very light you can see the variations so you can see the dark tone medium tone light and very light we have done this okay now we'll go with the sap green so sap green again i'm doing it in the from the bottom so this part i'm doing it very dark at the bottom so the one fourth part will be from the bottom will be in dark tones and from here the pressure i'll reduce the pressure and make it the sap green i'll make it in medium tone and then gradually reduce the pressure and make it light you can see this and even more light over here okay this way so here you can see it is very dark at this bottom see that there are no white spaces here for here itself so they are uh, very light uh, sorry very dark here you have from here the medium tone starts and gradually goes up and here you have light and here we have done very very light giving here and there spaces okay so now we can use the same uh, light green because we already have done here the same light green uh, cotton bud we can take and we will start from the top Okay, first blend all the light green. 
giving circles just blend it in circles or slanted circles or slanted ovals whatever don't try to remove their pigment see we have this dark pigment we need the, that when because we want to if at all when in a landscape or any way we want to make some marks or, or give some uh, branch branches textures then the color should be there on the paper so here now we are making we have come into the medium tone and then gradually coming into the lighter tone and blending and here the blending part starts the sap green and light green part so do it very give very light pressure when you are blending we don't want to remove the pigment as i told you all so give very light pressure and start blending in circles or ovals and that should be circles is this okay ovals is this so try to blend the ovals in slanting direction so we are giving in this direction so slanting direction do it in ovals and this way don't have any marks you can just try to blend and see you can see where we have started the light green where we have uh, started the uh, sap green so we need to show all that light medium and dark tones of both the colors what we have used so when you are we are using some two colors we need some third color in this area okay so this is how the uh, we have done with using blues and all okay the rest of the boxes we'll see in tomorrow's class uh, you can practice this a number of times until you get the perfect result until you get the perfect result so here uh, we didn't write the names numbers so here we have used again 0 239 light blue and white 478 478 white color and this is carillion blue 071 c e r u l e a n carillion blue and light blue lemon yellow we have used uh, i need to see the number and 240 it's light green and lemon yellow so this will be a lifelong reference for us it's a guide book for us so just keep it very safe 240 light green and 391 sap green and don't forget to mention which brand you are using so this is camel 50 shades oil pastels because uh, the number varies from brand to brand so just write even which brand you are using and what are the colors you are using and shade them uh, so whenever you are making if at all a perfect uh, book for reference you need to follow all this okay tomorrow we'll see the rest of the colors about the huts and uh, the mountains and uh, the roads so let us see what we can do here tomorrow which colors we'll blend tomorrow okay so i hope you enjoyed this class and you got some good information i really believe it is informative so if at all you have any doubts please 
do uh, co- comment them in the comment section i'll try to clear them or if at all you have liked it please give a like and do subscribe the channel if at all you are watching for the first time thank you for watching and happy drawing keep drawing bye bye take care